Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review and wear test of the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I picked mine up at Walgreens and I picked it up for $5.99, so it's extremely affordable. I will first start off this video with me applying the foundation and letting you guys know my thoughts. And throughout the day, I took you guys with me for whatever errands I had to run, and I showed you guys what the makeup looked like. And at the end of the video, I gave you guys my final thoughts after wearing the foundation for the entire day. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing the way this foundation applies and wears throughout the day, then please keep watching. So obviously I have my eye makeup on already. I am getting ready to go to the dentist. I am seriously not looking forward to it. The two shades that I picked up in this foundation are Golden Beige and Desert Beige. I have the two shades right here. This is Golden Beige at the bottom and this is Desert Beige. Desert Beige actually looks a lot darker than what it does in the bottle. So I think I'm going to be using Golden Beige today. So this is the packaging right here and when you open it, it has a little spatula. It's not a brush or anything, it's just a flat plastic spatula. So I will most likely be spooning it out onto the back of my hand and then applying it all over my face like I usually do with my foundations. And on this side, I'll apply it with a beauty blender and the other side I will apply it with a flat top kabuki brush. Since my skin gets oily throughout the day, I'm going to be applying the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Mattifying Primer version. This is what I would do with any foundation that's not matte, and I would just apply it all over my face. As you can see, I am breaking out. I've been having a lot of skin issues lately, so I guess this is a good time to test out a new foundation because we'll see how well it covers. So my hands are clean. This is normally what I do with my foundations. I like to evenly spread them across the face. That way the product is distributed evenly. It's very, very smooth, the foundation. It's not hard to spread whatsoever. It's very liquidy. Now I'm just taking my beauty blender. The color looks pretty good actually, but it's not orange at all. Sometimes warmer toned foundations at the drugstore can pull a little orange. This definitely has a yellow undertone. It has a very natural satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not dewy at all. So now I'm going to apply the other side with my flat kabuki brush. So as you can see, I have some problem areas. We'll see how well it covers. And this brush is the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki, an old school brush. So I feel like it has the same amount of coverage on each side. The foundation sits well on the side that I did the blending with the brush, but I feel like it sits better on the skin and it blended more into the skin on this side where I used the Beauty Blender. It definitely has medium coverage. I can still see my freckles peeking through. I can still see a little bit of my blemishes. The redness is pretty much covered up, but if it's if there's any darkness like this one, because I did self-tan my face, whenever you self-tan your face, it kind of clings on to your blemishes, which is so annoying. But this side, this has a little bit more of a darker spot, and I could still see a little bit of the darkness peeking through, but the redness is basically covered up. So I'm going to see how well this foundation layers, just for the heck of it, on the spots of my face that I need a little bit more coverage. So we're going to put some more right here, 
and some more right here. And lightly tap that out. So I feel like I was able to build up the coverage a little bit, but not much. So pretty much one layer of this foundation and you're good to go. Face still feels a little bit tacky. It's not overly wet, but it didn't dry down like a matte foundation particularly would. So I am going to set this foundation and I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Powder. This is the same $5 uh, loose powder that I use from the drugstore. I'm just going to set the foundation with it very lightly. So this is the finished look. I sped through the makeup application just because I want this video to focus solely on just testing out the foundation, but if you're curious in the products that I used, I will leave them down below in the description box. But so far, I only took 10 more minutes to apply the rest of my makeup, and I think that the foundation looks really good. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. It's set fine. It doesn't look cakey at all. I feel like it lays really well on the skin. Like I said, I like the side better that I applied with the Beauty Blender. Real quickly, I want to zoom you guys in so you can see the foundation from up close. So we're getting very up close and personal, but as you can see, there are my problem areas and they covered them pretty well. This side still is covered pretty well. Sits really well on the nose and my forehead. I really do think that this foundation looks really, really good on the skin. Alright, no longer up close and personal, sorry about that. As you could see when I zoomed in up close, it looks really good. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like there's too many foundation particles on my face. It just lays really well on the skin. So I'm really happy with the way that it looks now. I'm about to grab something to eat, brush my teeth, head on over to the dentist, and I will update you guys throughout the day. Hey guys, so I just got out of my dentist appointment. It is around 2.45 and last time I talked to you all it was around 1 o'clock when I finished my makeup. Right now I think the foundation still looks really good. It hasn't worn off anywhere besides settling on in these lines around my nose. I think it looks really good. Usually I avoid wearing makeup to the dentist because a lot of the times when they're cleaning your teeth they kind of rest their hand on your chin and around your mouth and because I wanted to do this review I wore makeup anyways and I'm actually really surprised with the way that the foundation has held up because she was resting her hand quite often on my face so I was really worried that the foundation was gonna kind of rub off a little bit but it honestly hasn't so right now I'm going to zoom up so you guys can see a close-up of this foundation right now so as you can see it still looks really good it hasn't worn off of course you can see my blemishes but other than that you can kind of see how it's kind of settled right here but besides that I think it looks pretty good so right now I'm about to head on over to Sephora I have to return a few items and I guess after that I will check up with you guys in a little bit. So quickly I thought I would show you guys what I got at Sephora. Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I am so excited to try this out. They came out with a ton of them. And then I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. 
and I got the shade 4.0. I currently have it in 8.0. I told you guys in my last video that I was super dark for my birthday, so hopefully I can just mix the two if I'm somewhere in between. And then finally, I picked up the Anastasia Stick Foundation, but I picked it up in the shade Cocoa. I guess I'm going to try and use it as a bronzer or cream contour. So those are the things I decided to pick up at Sephora. Right now I am starving. I didn't get a chance to eat before the dentist. So I think I'm about to get Chipotle and head on home. So I thought I would come in and check in with you. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? There it is. Right now it is 5.15. So I've been wearing this foundation for a good four and a half hours, I would say. Um, I still think it looks a little funny around my nose, like I pointed out to you guys in the car. And now I kind of see it wearing away a little bit on my chin and starting to get a little teeny tiny bit shiny, kind of all over the place. But keep in mind, I do have oily skin throughout the day so to me that's relatively normal i think the foundation still is holding up really well especially since it's not a matte foundation i would say i'm going to wear this foundation for another hour or so and then i have to get ready for a date night and i'm planning on filming a makeup tutorial i will check back with you guys in a little bit and let you guys know my final thoughts okay guys so I am back for the final review of this foundation starting off from the beginning I only paid $5.99 for it this foundation is available in 20 shades all 20 shades can be found on wetandwildbeauty.com I found mine at Walgreens on a new display that they had so it was pretty small and they only had four different shades but I did want to show you guys swatches of the shades that were there. So this one is Nude Ivory. It's for light skin tones with a neutral undertone. This one is Peach Natural and this is for light medium skin tones with a cool undertone. This is Golden Beige. It's for medium skin tones with a warm undertone. And this is the one that I am wearing today. And then this one down here is Desert Beige. And it is for medium to dark skin tones with a warm undertone. Remember that they do have a spatula in here. If you're swiping the foundation all over your face with the spatula and then put it back into the whole bottle of the foundation, that is a good way to spread bacteria and have bacteria grow inside the bottle. So I would definitely take the spatula and put it on the back of your hand or on a mixing plate. The foundation has a thinner consistency. It's not super thin to where it runs down your hand, but it does have a thin enough consistency that it makes it very easy to blend. I would say that this foundation has a medium coverage. It's slightly buildable, not 100%. I could not build it up to full coverage this morning when I was trying to apply it. The foundation does have a scent to it. It smells kind of like paint, but honestly I wouldn't have even recognized that if I didn't straight up smell the foundation because when I was applying it to my face, the scent did not bother me at all. It is now 6.15 at night and I have had this foundation on for a good five and a half hours. I want to apologize I didn't wear it any longer but I do need to get ready for a date night tonight and I want to take off all my makeup and start brand new and hopefully film a tutorial for you guys. So overall throughout the day this foundation has looked great on my skin. It's still holding up really really well. I don't see a change from the last time that I checked up with you guys. The only thing 
right now is maybe I'm starting to see like my blemish starting to peek through a little bit more but honestly right now I'm just being super nitpicky trying to find things wrong with this foundation I really do think that it wears great it applied great and the only places that it really are is rubbing off is like this area where I do produce oil and around my nose and of course I've had a runny nose all day it has rubbed off like right around here where I keep wiping my nose but I feel like that's any foundation overall I think this foundation works extremely well and it is at such an affordable price I am so happy that Wet n Wild came out with the foundation that works amazing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you are planning on checking out this foundation. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you are notified for any videos I come out with in the future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!